Alrighty, I'm back. These are getting gorgeous too. A um, little bit of everything. Now the daddy of this was remember it was Bill, that uh, broken uh, uh, New Zealand I had for a little bit. So these are meat rabbits, um, but that's why I love these crossbreed. Look at the look at the different babies I got. Look at the different colors. No babies alike. That's what you want when you want pet rabbits. And I mean they eat the same. Okay. And so I guess you'd call this, this isn't a high-quality meat rabbit. This isn't what I'd want if I can only have a couple rabbits um, to live on. You know, I've told you all what I'd want. I'd want a, a New Zealand or a California pure, uh, a California pure buck on New Zealand pure does. That's what I'd want. But this here is the ultimate multi-purpose doe. I can sell these babies for pets. They're going to be medium, about medium-sized rabbits, but they're going to grow off fast enough that I'll be able to get plenty of meat off of them if they don't sell. Okay, a, a, a dual purpose rabbit. But I don't have no problem selling these rabbits. They go they go fast. Like I said, all the rabbits besides these litters here, these young litters are reds, and a couple of those big reds are all the all the babies you see are already sold. Okay, now the reds, these are doing good. This one here, this huge one right here is a buck. I'll probably be keeping it uh, along with that broken buck on the other side, the one I first started out with, uh, Checkers Baby over there. I'll probably be starting out with them. Hey, Gus. <coughs> Still got the reds. Not many people have come and got theirs yet. Um, but they're getting big. They're getting seven, eight weeks old. And like I said, I don't mind keeping these longer because I have to see what they're going to look like. There's Rachel. She's gorgeous. And there's, don't know what I'm going to name the little girl behind her, but they're both broken. Uh, they're both tries. I would say in my smaller, in my red is my favorite color for New Zealand, but in my smaller breeds, I love tri rabbits. These tri colored ones are gorgeous. And I have a rabbit at a friend's house that had a litter, and she has a lot of tri babies, and they are a beautiful, beautiful rabbit. I love the tries. Uh, and the one that I'm, I have at a friend, the other one I have at friends that I'm going to put with these two to make three babies, she's even prettier than those two color wise. I'll show her to y'all when I get her. All righty, let's we'll see. Oh, this one right here. Now, this one here has a weird one, guys. I like it. Here's the mama. Y'all can tell me what these colors are. Why much as can be told. She has Harlequins. She has a real pretty Harley right here. Real pretty Harley. But then she has a couple just orange. I mean, yeah, just blue to Harleys. And then she has... No, that's not it. There he is. All right, what's this? Is this another tort? He has red on his back and on his sides he's darker. So is that a tort? And then look at this one. I'm not sure what it is. I don't see blue or black and even the red. It's more like an orange. But look at this rabbit. It's like a cream color. Can y'all see that color on it? It's a it's cream and brown. It looks like two colored browns is what it looks like. But that rabbit may not be going anywhere either. I haven't had one that color before. But they're getting dripped on water, so they're mad at me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to scare everybody. But that is... Let me think. Let me see if I got everybody. I think that is everybody. I got three does due middle of next week. And then three does due every week following that for about three or four weeks. 11 total. Um, and so more babies coming. Everything doing great. Try to think if I forgot anybody or anything. I think I got y'all. Uh, <laughs> chickens. Y'all haven't seen the chickens for a while. In my neighbor's yard. Eating away. I just call my neighbor and say, hey, can I put the chickens over there to eat some? They haven't been over there in about a week. And she goes, sure. She gets eggs from them. She just collars when she wants eggs, and I bring her eggs. I don't know if you can see them out there. There they come. And that's how I call them into their pen, too. All I got to do is that right there, and they all run in. I throw a piece of bread in their pen, and they all go into their pen. That's how I put them up, too. If I don't just let them stay out till nighttime, they put themselves up. Come here. Come here, girls. They want to see you. Still getting... I'll show you. There's the girls. 
Oh, there's those little guys. And this is a good example, too, of you have to mess with your rabbits. Uh, the lady that has these, she messes with them. They're all gentle, but she never picks them up. She just feeds them. And <coughs> picking them up and stuff, they, they're they're wild to be picked up right now. I'm having a gun at the gentle them down. Um, and so remember that. It's not just feeding them and petting them. You need to hold them, even if for a couple seconds a day, you need to hold them for a minute. But the chickens are doing six seconds a day. I have... Um, Five dozen, a man's about to come by, five dozen eggs for $3 a piece, so $15 for five dozen, which will be these two, that one, and that one. So I'll still have a dozen left over. He'll come pick that up in an hour or so, and so that'll pay for another bag of their, their feed. I do have them on uh, lay and rash. Uh, uh, I have them on hinge scratch and pellets and uh, leg leg pellets. Uh, leg, egg pellets, uh, so they'll, they'll lay eggs. Um, somebody asked me if I have them or they just on, on scratch and on the, on the yard, but they're not. They're on <coughs> egg, egg pellets too. Oh, I know. I busted y'all's bubble. They want to come back over. They only like scratching so long and then they want to go back up. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I said. But they think they got rained on earlier and they got mad at me and so, But they get all this fresh grass that's coming up. They love it. And more than they love it, it's good for them whether they like it or not. But I'll let y'all go. I hope it's prettier where y'all are than it is where I am. It is. And somebody asked about these. I get these because this is how I transport everything in. Main reason is being in, I have a truck. I can build these in the back and the wind won't bother them too much. Um, but I have tons of these. I get them off for garage sales. I don't pay ever pay more than $5 for them. Uh, that one, that one, and this one I got for a dollar. That one and that one I got for two dollars. But I just walk, uh, go to garage sales and if I see they have one, I'll tell them I'll give them two or three dollars for them. They usually snatch it and I just take it home. You can never have too many pet carriers, in my opinion. But talk to y'all later. Bye bye.